Now we're moving on to this turnip miso ramen, which is really quite beautiful. I'm looking forward to this. Uh, I grabbed my camera. I wanted to take a quick look at the scene. I'd already kind of scoped it out, but now that I have the food in here, I definitely had to move away from my 100 because the 100 macro put me right in the middle of this post. Of course, <laughs> I like this composition. It's tight, it's against the wall, but it's cool. So I'm gonna switch to the 50 and we're gonna set up right here. So let's go ahead and start rolling. Okay, so we've moved over to this location now where we've got this long steel bar and it's built into the steel structure with the glass coming on the right side. I'm gonna capitalize on the little bit of light that we have left of the day. It's nice, it's kind of low raking, it's really soft, but I've also got a ref lot of reflection that's coming from the background. There's a huge building to my east and it's pushing a lot of light back at me because the, the sun is almost uh, it's just about to hit the horizon in the southwest. It's hitting that east-facing building and coming back at me. So it's going to give some nice highlights coming towards the camera. It's really clean and I'm going to capitalize on that. So I'm just going to kind of take my time to work the uh, composition here and use the available light that I have. I may have to chase it a bit as the sun is starting to go down. I may have to increase my ISO or my shutter speed in order to capture that light. I want to get some wine that I can put in that glass. Okay. White. It's got to be white with that ramen. Turnip, ramen, no question. And let's switch to the 85. So I'm making a little bit of a change here. The 50 was a little bit too wide. I was seeing into the door. I didn't want to go quite that far. My 100 was too tight. So I'm going to put on an 85, which is going to be a little bit more mid-range. I want to take out some of the environment because it was just too much. So I'm going, to, <laughs> I'm going to have to back up a little bit. And of course, I'm going to wind up right in the middle of the pole. Isn't that the way it always works? There's something in your way, you're going to wind up right against it. Nature of the beast, but it'll be cool. Oh yeah. Oh, much nicer. Much nicer. I really like what's starting to happen here. That was the right lens. So sometimes you have to experiment with the lens. When you start with something you think it might be appropriate, just isn't quite right. This is starting to feel much better. I've got the right perspective in terms of lens selection. You kind of see what's going on, but at the same time, it creates mystery. The light's starting to look really pretty. Now, this is something I can fine tune quite easily. All right, so as I'm looking at this, there are a few things that, that uh, I kind of want to go over. Where, where I started, I was with, I started out with my 100 when I walked over here, because that's what I had on the camera from the other set. Way too tight, couldn't see anything really. Was completely back here, it was inappropriate. I moved to my 50 where I'm getting too much of the atmosphere, it's just, it didn't quite feel right. So I moved to my 85, which is starting to really kind of get us in there. The light is looking beautiful. You can see how this light is kind of hot up here and it's pushing the eye down. This is all done with that light bouncing off of the building to my east, just coming right in. It's really pretty light. This stuff is looking good and heroic. I've got a couple of tangents here. There's a mat that's right in front of the door. There's an exit door over there. And there's a mat on the floor, it's just creating a dark spot. I want to get rid of that. I'm going to fine tune these stools a little bit. I want to push them in a little bit more. Like the light on this one is really nice, but it's just over to the edge a little bit. I want to bring this first one in a little bit more, get more of that shape down here and light more of the napkin. 
I've got the blue napkin kind of peeking up on the other side. I think I actually want to accentuate that and bring it up and kind of round out the shape of that bowl. Again, that's going to help create a curve that's going to take my eye back through the composition. So I've got some leading lines. I've got lines that take me back. The light, by its nature, that the fact that it's got a gradation, is pushing me back down right into my hero food. So this is stuff I'm always thinking about. Leading lines, composition that, that pulls the eye around and through and back where I want it to, to land. All right, so the light's moving on me quickly, so I'm going to pick up my pace a little bit. Better. Get, getting rid of that really helps. I think now I can kind of fine tune my crop just a hair. Got a little too much up top. Bring that right there. I'm going to bring this forward just a skosh. I'm also seeing that the chopsticks are creating a bad tangent. Right here the back of the chopstick is hitting exactly with the edge of the bar. That's something I want to break. It's not a good, it's, it creates tension and I want to break that tension. Instantly you can see how that helps. It defines it. It's bringing us back in with the chopstick. I brought it forward just a hair, the whole dish, and it feels better. Definitely like it. I'm going to move this blue napkin down just a little bit more. I want to create a shape that's going to help round out that bowl. Yeah. That's a little too much. You can see how it's now just tangent over here. So I'm going to try to split that difference. Just kind of fine tune it ever so slightly. And again, my light is starting to go down. It's really beautiful light right now, but I'm getting to that sweet light point of the day where the sun is really going down, so I've only got a few minutes. I dig it. Yeah, I like that a lot. I'm going to bring my wine glass in just a little bit. Smooth that out. Well. All right. I think I really like it. Focus is good. You can really see the detail on those eggs. Gorgeous. And with the scallions too, which this was really important. When I was talking with the owner, he was talking to me about how much time and effort they put in just to the scallion. It's really a pretty shot. Again, I'm just kind of finessing the detail. This blue napkin there, I could easily retouch that out. I actually want a little bit more of it. It's kind of nice. Love it. That's done for the most part. Okay, one more thing I'm going to do. I'm going to try to pop a little bit of light in here on the greenery. Those scallions are important. They're really cool. <clears throat> my card might be in there. My hand might be in there. That's okay. I'll merge a couple shots together. But you can see the difference in those two. Helps the food all the way around. So I'm going to go through and I'm going to give it a couple of hits. The seaweed is really dark. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add some light to it. The same with the scallions. Again, I'm doing that by hand. 
Ah, much better. And I'm going to backlight them just a little bit too. Love it. See, now you can take a quick look here and you can see what I'm doing in terms of, that's my base shot. Going back a little bit, I just brought in the silver card to get a little highlight on the seaweed, some on the greenery. I did a couple different variations of it. Might want to get a little bit more just in that front part of the seaweed. And this shot is complete. I'm going to try to pop a little highlight on the egg too in case I want to pick some of that up. So right now what I'm doing is very quickly giving myself some options. Just to add little hits of light if I want to post, I can pick these things up, kind of manipulate them together, and I've just got a little bit more light that's kind of helping to round out and fill out that bowl. Very quick hand movements. I don't have to make an elaborate production out of it. I don't have to bring in a ton of lighting. Just something really simple with a card, my eye, and watching where that light goes. One last shot. This one is wrapped up without question. I feel very happy with this shot as well. So now it's time to move on to another spot in the restaurant. Remember, I'm looking around this restaurant because I want to give small environmental shots of different places of the restaurant to paint the whole picture for the viewer. So I don't want to just be in one spot and shoot everything there. For me, I want to go around and create different kind of scenarios that depict the restaurant but leave the viewer guessing. The other thing it does, it gives me options with my portfolio. If I were to now take four more dishes and put it in here, guess what? I can really only show one of those because it doesn't, it doesn't show that I've done anything different except swap something out. If I can go to another location in the restaurant and create a completely different feel, yet for the restaurant tour it's in the same vibe, then I've got multiplicity of images that I can put in my book and I've got a bunch of stuff that the, the restaurant tour can use as well.